Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I want to show you how to implement the dolly soon effect in Unreal Engine when I charge the attack. So this is to give some cinematic uh, look into the charged attack. So here is the preview. When I charge my camera is becomes like this. So this is called the Dolly Zoom in cinematic cinema. Okay, so I'll show you how to implement that effect. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Uh, thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. All right. So first uh, I want to reduce the charging time a little bit more because now it feels like a little too much. So let me open my character. And I'll close them all and start from the fight event crop and here's the attack so this is the charging time that I have put uh, let I already see to one second right, right. now the zoom in part actually this is the human character blueprint and this does not have the camera component because this is the common base class for player and enemy so therefore in order to do the things with camera I have to go to this uh, player blueprint this is the player blueprint and here I have already implemented this toggle fight camera event and with that what I'm doing is I'm changing the arm length actually I'm just uh, snapping them without uh, doing any kind of uh, interpolation so therefore first I'll uh, fix this snapping thing I just I want a, a smooth transition instead of changing directly the values so I can do it like this I'll remove this part and I'll promote this to a variable let me call it uh, target spring arm length and set it like this now in the event tick here I have this uh, look at attack uh, part and after that well I'll change this to <coughs> camera update because I'm going to put everything about camera inside this node so here this is about focusing on an attack and I don't need to worry about that now so let's take a line like this <coughs> I'll collapse it look at wait Okay, now here I can do a check like this and I can get the existing the current spring arm length and if this one is not equal to this one I can lerp them 
if this is true I have to love them otherwise I don't have to do anything so here set spring set target arm length <coughs> take this one and lerp lerp means uh, uh, what it does is uh, interpolate with this alpha value from A to B like this okay now you may notice when I play the game and all right the problem was that the default value of this is zero instead I should make it to the default value of the current is 300 right okay now when I equip the sword uh, you will see uh, my character's uh, spring arm length will increase smoothly like this and when I unequip it goes like this when I equip it goes like this okay so that's the first part and now I have a method to change a way to change the spring arm length also I'll add another method like this to change the field of view of the camera I'll name this variable target FOV and I'll put the default value as 90 because that's the default field of view of my camera and just like this I need a branch and get this and get the camera get field of view if this two is not equal I have to do the interpolation otherwise skip like this set field of view connect connect and love this too I'll keep the alpha as point 0.1 and connect it here all right now I have also have a way to change the field of view of my camera as well so I'll create a custom event and here uh, to manipulate those parameters I'll name it change camera parameters and I need two inputs for this both of them should be float values this one is uh, spring arm length and this one is FOV to be safe I'll set the default value to, to 300 and 90 right now I'll implement change this custom event in my player because play is the class that I actually have to I want to change those effects so here I implement that uh, change K 
camera parameters and I set these values like this set this one to this and this one with this okay now I can use it to zoom my character when it is charged let's use it here um, like this and by using both these values I can achieve the dolly zoom effect so for that I have to increase the spring arm length and decrease the field of view like this let's try 50 so let's see what happens when I charge see this is totally zooming and I need to change it back when I charge is gone <clears throat> so where should I do that actually I can call this event with the default values anywhere but uh, I if I have already charged my character I need to keep that effect for some time so therefore I'll do a branch here like this and plug it here and here okay now when I have charged my character I'll give some delay like this for now and reset those uh, camera parameters to default values actually when I'm in the fight mode this instead of this 300 it should be 500 like here right here okay now let's see how it works all right the dolly zooming is working let's uh, do an attack to this guy Alright, and that's all I want to do for today. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club and depending on the tier you join, you will have different privileges. And also the latest source code is available here. And thank you very much. So let's continue to work on the combat system in the upcoming episodes. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.